Many claim that Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, shows that Jesus is Jehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is usually done to support the idea that God is three persons, and that Jesus is one of the persons of God. Using the American Standard Version of this verse as a basis, verse 3 of Hebrews chapter 1 is saying, God's Son is the effulgence of God's glory, the image of God's substance, God's personal being, and the Son bore all by means of the word of God's power. When the Son had made purification for our sins, he sat down on the right hand of the Majesty on high. Actually, there is nothing in Hebrews, or anywhere else in the Bible, that presents God Almighty as being more than one person, or that he is three persons. That idea has to be created outside of the Bible, and then many assumptions have to also be created beyond what is written in order to support that concept. Then the created concept and supporting assumptions have to be added to, and read into, any scripture claim to be speaking of the alleged triune God. God, in Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, refers to only one person. Throughout verse 3 as it reads in most translations, the word, his, refers back to the one person who is God of verse 1, thus distinguishing the Son from being God who spoke through the prophets of old. In most translations the word, his, may be found three times. Many Trinitarians will acknowledge that the first two instances of the word, his, refers back to God of verse 1, but the third instance of the word, his, they would like have applied to Jesus. The reality is that there is no scriptural reason to think the third instance of the word, his, applies to Jesus than there is to think that the first two instances of the word, his, are referring to Jesus. In harmony with Micah 5, verse 4, Jesus sustained all through the power, strength of his God, Jehovah. Jesus upholds all by the power of the word of his God. Jesus is definitely the brightness, actually, reflected brightness, of the glory of his God who is spoken of in verse 1. Thus, he is not God of whom he is the expressed image, any more than Adam, being in the full image of God, having the crown of the full glory of God before he sinned, means that Adam was God Almighty, or that Adam was a person of his God. See Genesis 1, verses 26 and 27, Psalm 8, verse 5, Romans 3, verse 23. Jesus is definitely the expressed image of the personal being of the one person who is God in verse 1. Being so, he is definitely not God who spoke through the prophets of old. Again, any idea that Jesus is in verse 3 being presented as God Almighty, or that God Almighty is more than one person, etc., has to be based on the acceptance of a concept that is nowhere to be found in the Bible, 
as well as an acceptance of the many assumptions that have to be applied to the scriptures in order to make the scriptures appear to be speaking of a triune God. Having presented a brief summary, we suggest that one click on the links below this video for more detailed studies.